that when this shaking comes, like the one we're having right now, that we will still stand. That should be your prayer and not really looking for fault. Because there comes a time when you get tired. As a human being, you get tired. You become um, emotional. You become heartbroken sometimes. Mm, it, it happens to all of us. So just bear with us and keep on keeping on with us um, through prayer, through positive vibes. Just stay with us. And like I've always said, I will always be here. We'll always be standing tall, no matter what. We'll always bless somebody, regardless of the day, or how we feel, or what is going on around. This is the season where most of the things have stopped, including schools. The kids are just beginning to go to school in Kenya because we've had floods. And Kenya was submerged under flood water. But we didn't wait or make an excuse out of that. A lot of the people are not doing much out here. And they are justified. They are saying we have floods and it's dangerous to go to the fields, especially in rural areas where the road network is not even there. <laughs> it's non-existent. So there is very good explanation to keep off but we are still out here and it comes to rain and we were somewhere recently and it rained so bad <laughs> we got stuck but we, we, we that, that doesn't that mean we get an excuse to not come out and help people not for anything else but for the love that we feel in our hearts about the people that God has committed in our hands we know that these are special people. It's a special calling direct from the throne room of God. And we don't take it for granted. We want to do it and do it until we can do it no more. One day when we are laying in those graves, we'll look at our bodies and we'll say, Hooray, thank you, I used you for the glory of God. That's the desire of our hearts. And we will remain out here, no matter what. And we'll keep on digging, no matter what. Stay with us. Stop the childishness of saying, oh, how long are we going to, um, to go on without videos? That is childishness. How long have you failed to honor your pledge? How many times have you failed you know you you have failed somewhere you said you'll do it daily and you didn't do it daily because unavoidable things happened how would you feel if somebody judged you because of that you'd still feel bad so we are in this together and no one else will come and be with us that one we must all agree that we are not going to have nobody coming to dig jiggers. If there was this possibility, we would have seen it in the last 12 years. Nobody came. So it's just us, and we, we have no problem with it. We'll continue doing it. And we implore you, in the name of the Lord, to please stick by our side and let us help people with full understanding that uh, we are the ones who have been called to to do that. Let's just make peace with it. I made peace with the fact that I'm called to do this. Somebody at a function called me Mr. Jigaman in a way that was disrespectful because the, we had many people who were supposed to be giving speeches and oh, yeah. And I was asked by the 